Hello everyone, I'm Melissa with The Full Lotus. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some core-based exercise, all to help strengthen and to maintain those muscles. We're going to be doing some traditional Pilates-based and some balance exercises. So I always find that it's important to work on balance because as we get older, we tend to lose it if we don't work on it. And as always, if you are brand new to exercise, I highly encourage you Check with your physician just to make sure if there isn't any uh, contraindicated exercises that you shouldn't be doing. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll just start with that traditional crunch and we'll probably do some pulsing at the end for those of you who'd like a little bit more. So let's go ahead onto our back. All right. You can have your feet down or you can have your legs in that reverse tabletop position. Your upper body is going to be down and we're gonna have our hands behind our head and our neck, supporting the head and the neck. All right, engage the belly. So squeeze the belly, thinking the belly button towards the spine, so your low back should be flat or neutral here. Let's go for that traditional crunch, working that upper abdominal. Take a deep breath in, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Good, inhale, exhale, you got it. Inhale, exhale. Let's go for six more, up for six, and five, four, three, two, hold it at the top. And if you'd like, you can add on with a little bit of pulsing. Up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, hold, and bring it down. Bring the knees to the chest for a moment. Relax that nice job. All right, let's do an exercise for those lower abdominals, even though it's just one entire muscle, all right? We break it up as if it's different muscles, but it's just one muscle. All right, so I'm going to make sure my low back is flat once again, or a neutral spine. Hands are going to be at my side. I'm gonna bring my legs up to that reverse tabletop, already squeezing through the glutes, squeezing through the belly here, right? Bending those knees about 90 degrees, and then we're gonna take a deep breath in, and then we're gonna exhale. We're gonna lower that right leg, and then bring it back up to the top. Inhale, exhale, lower the left leg, and bring it back up. Inhale, exhale, nice. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, those of you who want a little bit more, you can take this all the way down to the floor. But if you're doing that, you've gotta make sure your hips stay on the ground here, right? You're not moving it back and forth, and those knees stay bent 90 degrees. All right, so that low back needs to maintain neutral. You got it. And I'm gonna show that modification just halfway again. All right, you got it. One more, and one more on the other side, exhale. Nice job, bring the knees in towards the chest, rock it out. All right, nice job, all right. So we're gonna come all the way up to the top and then we're gonna take our arms all the way, we're gonna lengthen through the spine here, we're gonna take a deep breath in, and then we're gonna lower ourselves down, hold, 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 lifting all the way up, inhale, exhale, lower down, hold, 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 think of this as a reverse crunch, coming all the way up, inhale, exhale, hold, 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 continue to exhale, lift, good, inhale, Lower down, hold, 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 and exhale. A couple more, let's bring it down. Hold it here, hold, 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 and lift it up. If you want a little bit more, right? Lower down, maybe opening up a little bit, and then coming up, inhale, open. Exhale, hold, hold, hold. We're gonna bring it down one more time, and all the way up, hold, nice. Go ahead and round it out here. So bring your hands onto the legs, and bring that head down and relax it here, nice. All right, let's go ahead and bring it all the way down again. I wanna show you another core exercise for that back. All right, so round it down and then we're gonna bring those knees again, hip distance apart, hands will be by your side. You're gonna be all the way flat. And I want you to pretend that you're holding like a block between the legs here, because when you go in the bridge, you're not only squeezing the glutes, you're gonna be squeezing through those inner thighs or through those adductors, so very important here. So take a deep breath in, 
press through the feet and exhale, lift up. Squeeze your glutes at the top here. Very important. So we're just holding this bridge pose, working the spinal extensors, really working the endurance muscles of the low back. So opening up here, breathe through this. Inhale, exhale. And then slowly lower down. I usually like to start for about 10 seconds and then adding on more seconds, about 20 seconds to 30 seconds is usually pretty good. So go ahead and lift all the way up here. Let's hold this a little bit longer. Squeeze through the glutes, open up through those hip flexors, breathe through this. The longer you can hold this, the better, right? So if you've been living with back pain, these, these are really good exercises to do. Um, again, start with anywhere from five to 10 seconds, building up the endurance. So going longer and longer, 20 to 30 seconds. And then slowly, slowly releasing down. We're gonna do one more of those. Traditionally, I would say go for about 10 of those, but just wanted to show you a couple exercises and then I wanna add on a Pilates space exercise with this. All right, one more. Lifting all the way up, squeezing through the glutes here, staying nice and tight, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Keep working. Going a little bit longer than my last one, all right? If you need to come out of it at any time, that's fine. Work to your level, that's always important. Hold, 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 breathe through it. Almost there, five more seconds. Four, three, two, lower down. Nice job, nice. Go ahead and bring your knees in towards the chest. If you need to, you can rock that out. All right, our next one, we're gonna do leg circles. You can always do these leg circles out of the bridge, um, but if you wanna work more of that endurance for the low back, here we go, leg circles in the bridge. Go ahead and lift back up, press through the feet, inhale, lifting up. You're gonna take your right leg up towards the ceiling, engage through that belly. Inhale, lower that leg down, exhale, circle. Inhale, lower, exhale, circle. You can do a smaller circle. You can do a much bigger circle if you like. So smaller circles a little bit easier, bigger circles a lot harder. You choose. Inhale, exhale. Let's do four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more, down and around. Last one, down and around. Go ahead and flex that foot. Let's add on for those of you who want a little bit more. Bring it back, bring it back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring that leg down. Nice, come all the way down out of the bridge. Bring the knees to the chest. Take a breath here, inhale, exhale. Nice job. Ready for that other side? Let's go for it. All right, bring those feet all the way down. Hands by your side, once again. Shoulders rolling back and down. And then press through the feet, coming all the way up. Squeeze through the glutes at the top. Even squeeze those adductors. Take that left leg up, holding here. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, circle. There's that small circle I'm showing you. If you want a much bigger circle, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Or a much bigger circle if you'd like. That's more advanced. Totally up to you. Nice, let's go for five more. Down, circle, down, Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Flex that foot if you want a little bit more and bring it back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and bring it all the way down. Whew, nice job. Knees to the chest. Rock it out. All right, a really good exercise for the core. It's also a really good breathing exercise too, is that Pilates 100. So you're going to bring the legs in tabletop position if you're a little bit more advanced. And if you've been working through Pilates or been taking Pilates exercises, you can always have those legs straight. But if you're new to this, just go ahead and keep those knees bent. I'm gonna take the arms above the head. Again, squeezing the belly button towards the spine. You're gonna be inhaling for five, exhaling for five. 
five, and really pumping those arms. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lift up the lower back, flat or neutral, and here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, done, nice, nice job, knees to chest, rock that out, just breathing in, breathing out, now let's just take a moment for a stretch here, we're going to bring those feet down to the floor, arms to a side, T position, and just go ahead and drop those knees to your left side, inhale, exhale, And then go ahead and bring your knees to the other side. And hold to the right side and hold here. Inhale. Exhale. All right, and then go ahead and bring it center. Let's go ahead and bring ourselves all the way up. I'd like to show you a few planks and some things that you can do here. So that's also really, really important. So go ahead into your tabletop position just to start. And I always like to give our feet a little bit of love here. So go ahead and curl your toes under for a moment. Just go ahead and stretch back into that. If it feels good to walk yourself all the way back, you can do that as well too. So whatever works for you. All right, let's go ahead back to your tabletop position. And let's work um, through the forearms here. So we're gonna come down to our forearms. We're gonna lengthen our legs. Right, and I'm gonna give you a modification too. So let's come into our plank. Our belly should be nice and tight, glutes tight. You can always bring your knees down to the floor as well too. So you wanna be looking down at the floor. Knees are up or knees are down. You wanna keep your neck in alignment with the spine. This is another great exercise that you can start off with five to 10 seconds, building the 30 seconds, maybe even building all the way up to a minute here. Let's go ahead and rest that. Come down onto the knees, slowly bring the hips, come into a nice sphinx pose here, opening up, All right, good stretch here. Let's do that again, really good core work for that abdominal wall. Curl those toes under, maybe you're lifting up onto the knees, maybe your whole body is parallel to the floor. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze those quadriceps, those thighs, squeeze your entire body. Breathe through this, inhale, and exhale, stay nice and tight, breathe. Keep working, keep working, you got this, you got this. If you need to come out of this at any time, that is fine. And then slowly drop to the knees if they're not down already, and then go ahead and drop the hips. Just open up into a nice sphinx pose, breathe, nice. All right, we got one more plank. I know you can do it. All right, here we go. All right, curl those toes under, lift up either onto the knees or full body plank. Squeeze your glutes, breathe through this. Inhale, exhale. Stay nice and tight, breathe. Keep working, keep working. We're gonna hold this one the longest, but it's our last one. I know you guys are feeling that abdominal wall. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it too. Keep squeezing, keep working if you can, keep working. Breathe, 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Nice job. Go ahead and take those arms, lengthen. Rest here for a second, taking that head down. And then we're gonna take those hands by the chest and then come all the way up and come into a tabletop. Let's go ahead and stretch that out. So you can either stay here in a tabletop, stretch back into a child's pose if that works for you. You can also stretch back into a downward facing dog, curling those toes under, getting a nice stretch in through the back of the legs here. All right? Inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, 
Exhale. All right, go ahead and come into tabletop. Um, if you're in down dog, you can walk your feet forward, roll yourself up or get up however is easiest for you. So let me show you some balancing exercises as well too. So this is really great for the core. So I'll show you um, all different angles here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our right leg up. So we turn to face the camera. We're gonna bring the right leg up with the knee bent, engage through the belly, find the focal point. If you need your arms out to the side, go for it, all right? This is harder having the hands on to the hips. And then we're gonna take that leg all the way back, right? We're gonna come into a scale, hold here. If you take yoga, some of you know this is warrior three. You can add arms here, that's fine. Slowly pick your focal point, belly tight, slowly bring it up, engage here through the belly. Hold, 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 slowly swing it back right into a scale and hold here. Nice and tight. Breathe through this again if you need your arms. Use your arms, pick that focal point one more time, right? If you need those arms again, you're right here. This is much harder having the hands on the hips. Just working balance, so important. I know you feel your opposite leg working, you feel that angle. I know, I feel it too. Keep working, keep breathing through this. Hold, hold, hold. Go ahead and release down. Nice job. Shake that opposite leg out, because it was never about this leg. It was always about this leg, right? All right. All right, here we go on the other side. Belly tight, again, think belly button towards the spine. Lengthen through the whole spine. Shoulders back, pick that focal point. Go ahead and bring that left leg up, all right? Breathe through this, hold. If you need those arms out to the side, go for it. And then slowly bring that leg back into your scale. Again, those of you who take yoga, you know this as warrior three holding here, maybe if you're in that warrior three, you've got your hands to heart center, or out to the side, or maybe is here. Hold, hold, slowly bring yourself in. Nice, or hands, hold right here, hold, hold. Slowly bring it back, take your time, breathe through this, find that focal point on the floor, hold. That leg can be down low, so if you need to, you can even have that big toe touching the floor. You know where you are with balance, so that's really important. So you don't have to have that, this leg all the way up where I have it. Maybe it's a little bit lower. Maybe you've, if you have been working on balance, maybe it's a little bit higher or maybe your leg is straight, right? So take that journey wherever you are. Last one, bring it all the way back. Again, maybe this foot is lower if you're a little bit more advanced and this leg's all the way up, that is up to you. Take your time wherever you are in your journey. When you're ready, slowly bring that leg up and then down. Woo! Shake it out. Nice job, everyone. Nice. All right, here. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do some calf raises. That's really good to help with the ankles. So not so much as like core, but it also when you are doing calf raises, if you aren't holding on onto anything, you do have to use your core to balance, right? Okay, so you can have the hands on those hips. If you need to work a little bit more in balance, if you need to find a wall, go for it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and just lift up on those toes and back down. And you can do calf raises every single day because your calf muscles are endurance muscles, kind of like you can do or work on your abdominals every day. Lift and lower. Exhale up, inhale, lower down. Up, back down. Let's shoot for 10 more. Up for 10. Good. Nine. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Keep your glutes tight, keep your core tight. Really important. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, let's work balance here. Hold it here, hold, hold, hold. Now, added bonus here. Uh-oh, you can stay right here if you need to come out of it, that's fine. Added bonus, keep those heels up, 
bend those knees. Maybe you're going to come into a little chair pose. Hold, hold, squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift back up. You're still on the toes. Hold, hold, hold. And come back down. Shake it out. Nice job. All right, we're going, to, we're going to come back down. So let's go ahead and come into our tabletop position. Another good balance exercise, even though we're on the ground here, is we're going to engage through the belly. We're going to take our right arm up. Right, we're going to look down at the floor if you'd like. You can take that opposite leg up and hold. You're going to flex that foot. Engage here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Release down. Go ahead and switch. Again, you can just raise the arm up. If you want to add the leg, you can add the leg. You can also do just the leg. I'm going to flex that foot back there. And just add the leg and not the arm as well. And then switch. This is a really good exercise to do, especially if you're just rehabbing that low back. Belly has to be tight here. Hold, hold. Keep breathing through it. Lower back down. All right, go ahead and switch. Take that left arm up. Maybe you're taking that right leg up. Hold, flex the toes. Breathe through this. Nice. Slowly, slowly release. All right, let's come into a child's pose. Stretch that out. Take the arms forward and stretch. Inhale. Exhale. All right, one more Pilates space exercise. I'd like to do side planks to get into the obliques here. So I'm gonna go ahead onto my right side. I'm gonna come down to the forearm, but you're welcome to also um, do the Pilates plank on your hand as well. So I'm gonna be onto the forearm. I'm gonna have my, you can have your knees bent or you can have your legs straight. Knees bent is a little bit easier. Legs straight is gonna be a little bit harder. So I'll show you both. So you're gonna engage through the belly once again. You're gonna lift those hips, squeeze through the glutes. Right, you can take that arm up for balance. If you want, you can even extend that top leg. If you're really looking for a challenge, both legs are straight, you can stack them, you can have one foot in front. Hold here, belly tight, glutes tight. Hold, 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 breathe through it, glutes are tight. And then lower back down. Same thing with that front plank, you wanna hold for about, if you're new to it, five to 10 seconds, building to 20, building to 30 maybe even building a minute. It's a static exercise. It's a great exercise for the whole abdominal wall there. I always, always choose planks. Love doing planks because they are so good for you. All right, let's do that again. Let's go ahead and lift up. Knees are either bent or your legs are straight. I'm just showing this modification, but feel free to have those legs straight if you'd like. Belly tight, loose tight, hold. Breathe through this. Stay tight. Open up. Breathe. Keep working. You've got this. Breathe. Of course, if you need to come out of it at any time, that's fine. Work to your level. And lower down, release. Nice. We're gonna do one more on this side. Take a breath if you need to. These are great, great core work exercises. So, hope you're feeling them as much as I am. All right, let's do one more. Let's go ahead and lift up. Try it again, that top leg can be straight. Maybe both legs are straight. Maybe those legs are stacked. Maybe one leg is up. That's super advanced. So that is totally up to you wherever you are in your journey. Hold, hold, hold. Keep working, keep working. Stay tight. You got this. Breathe. All right. Three, two, one, and lower down. Nice job. We're going to go to that other side, that left side. All right. You guys feeling pretty good? I know I am. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, take that arm up if you'd like. Belly tight, glutes tight. Lift it up. Maybe those legs are straight or bent. Hold here. Also helps too, a lot of times when I'm practicing these planks, sometimes I'll just close my eyes, go into an inward journey. But maintaining being mindful, glutes tight, abdominals always tight no matter what. Breathe through this. Five more seconds. Four. Three, two, and down, release. Whew. I told you, these are the best, best 
exercises, right? <laughs> you feel it through the whole entire body. That's why it's so good. You've got to tighten up through the whole body. Otherwise, you're just going to feel all kinds of pain, probably especially through the low back there. So let's go ahead and do this again. Let's go ahead and lift up. Hold right here. Stay nice and tight. Breathe. Woo! Opening up. Nice. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And lower down. Nice job. Nice. All right. We're going to do one more. You guys are doing great. Thumbs up. All right. Last one. Here we go. Go ahead and lift up. Here's that modification with those knees bent or, again, legs straight. Maybe that one leg is forward in front. Hold here. Hold. Breathe. Maybe that leg is at the top and you're holding here. Breathe through it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lower down. Nice job. Let's go ahead and bring those legs in front. All right, and I'll scoot back so you guys can see me. Take a deep breath in, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, forward bend. Let's go ahead and stretch that out through the low back. And then slowly roll yourself up. Just to open up a little bit through the hip flexors. We'll come into a little butterfly. All right, rock it out a little bit. Roll the shoulders back, take a deep breath in. Let's come into a little bit of a ragdoll here. Palms facing forward. Hands can be on to the legs, the ankles, or to the floor, whatever feels comfortable. Just go ahead and relax here for a moment, just to stretch out. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. And then slowly roll yourself up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Those were just a few exercises to help strengthen and to maintain core. Thank you so much for joining me.